Well, a bill that proposed to combat Jackson's water crisis has died in the legislature. That 1% sales tax hike was city council's attempt to help address the water and sewer system needs. Well, Tav News Tao Ta heard from legislators, you know, those who met with city leaders in March behind closed doors around the time when the proposal was passed. Tao, what have you found out? Well, authored by State Representative Chris Bell, the bill had the backing of Mayor Shokwe and Tar Lamumba. Now, that revenue, an estimated $14 million per year, would have been used towards providing some remedy with Jackson's water crisis. Legislative leaders, in the meantime, say they are carefully assessing how to spend $1.8 billion in federal COVID funds that Mississippi is expected to get. Trying to get somebody to give us an evaluation of exactly what needs to be fixed and how much that costs. So those are things, those are answers we don't yet have. We're going to continue to look at it though. Lawmakers say in the coming weeks, the state should be getting guidelines on how the money is going to be dispensed, possibly within the next 30 days. Now, just yesterday, FEMA approved Mississippi's request for a time extension to determine if the ice storm would be declared a major disaster to receive those emergency funds. Now, MEMA is partnering with agencies to complete those damage assessments with a deadline by April 16th. Melanie.